Hi everybody and welcome back to the Republic of Revilia, where we are trying to build the most beautiful island nation in Transport Beaver 2. The Volkswagen Beetle has left the building. It just disappeared. I don't know what happened to it. That's fine. So, in the last episode, we fixed a lot of major problems that we had. And we're making some dough. It's real nice. But, in this episode, I think it's about time that we show Camp Anawana some love. Look, they want some things, and they're not getting it. And we have to make sure that Camp Anawana knows that we hold them in our hearts. That when we think about them... It makes me wanna fart! It's a true story. I get real flatulent. So, in order to appease my flatulence and to get them the things that they require, we're gonna do... Look at this. We're gonna make some moves here. Look at all the stuff that we just got unlocked. How fantastic. We have so many toys to play with. And we have money. Oh, this is fantastic. All right, so we need to get them some stuff, right? Tools, that won't be a problem. They don't really want very many tools, so we're not going to worry about that. We're going to focus instead on goods. We got them a bit more in the way of construction materials by getting them some more trucks on this little line. And look, they're actually, yeah, they're waiting patiently and they're getting it as it's being produced, which is nice. And in the last time, we fixed this so that they actually know that they have some of these customers that they didn't know before, like Bluffington and Megaton. We fixed that, so we're actually taking stuff to the port and shipping it out. That's real nice. So, we need to get them some goods. We produce goods all the way down in Midgar. Now, I don't like going through more than one other city to get to the final destination, so to get them from Midgar, where we're producing them, if we ship them out, we could only really ship them to Capital City, and then it would have to go through O-Town, through Townsville to get to Anawana. That's kind of ridiculous. We could ship them via train to Bluffington and then ship them out, but then, yeah, we could ship them out to here and it would only go through one other city to get out. Hmm, that might be the way to go. Originally, I was planning on building a canal right here at the shortest point and then shipping them directly out this way. But that could be better. That could be a lot better. We might do that instead. All right, I've made an executive decision. I came down here to our headquarters to make said decision. It only seemed right. What we're going to do... So we're going to build this canal. It seems only right, because what I want to do is also, at Anawana, I want to ship oil from here so that we have something to ship to Midgar, and we can use that oil and drive it right up this little highway and use it right here. I mean, we don't really need it, but it'll be nice to ship things back and forth. And if you look at Bluffington, their port is already really busy. There's a lot of ships coming in and out of here. We don't need to add to that. So, I'm pausing it. Let's build a canal. Oh, this is great. And this is our little scenic route that eventually we're going to put some of our historic buses on and stuff and people can go on little tours. It's just a nice little route that cuts through the from the main island in the north to the south. I think it's going to add to it. It's going to make it look so much nicer, isn't it? This route is going to be fantastic. All right, we're going to try and flatten this. Get a bigger brush size. Um, I'm not entirely sure how this works. I think if we just right click and then left click, it's been a while. There we go. We'll just go right up to the road for right now and carve out all of this. Try and keep it nice and straight so it looks like a canal, right? All right, good stuff. Now we should probably do a little bit of smoothing. Uh, maybe not as strong, but big. A little, a little smoothing on the side, just a little smoothing action. There we go. 
It doesn't take much. Just a little bit. It looks so much better. All right, now we're going to have to delete this uh, little bit of a road and rebuild ourselves a beautiful bridge. It's going to be great. Oh, fantastic. All right, now we need a real nice looking bridge. Um, we might have to take these roads back a little bit further. I want to see if I move this up a little bit from this end. How does that look? Oh, that looks so much nicer, doesn't it? It's not perfect. Not the perfect arch, but it'll do. Yeah. Nah. Yeah, that's not bad. This'll do for us. Got ourselves a nice looking little little bridge. Let's make this nice and smooth. Gotta make it beautiful. There we go, nice. Alright, you can go ahead and unpause it, recoup some of the money that we just spent. Ugh, insane. Alright, also gonna have to build some docks down here in Anawana. And I think right here is just perfect. So let's go ahead and get our shipping, get a cargo, and let me try and get this as nice and straight as I can. Oh, that looks perfect. Here, we can actually line it up against this. There we go. Perfect. We'll have it out here. Nice. And let's go ahead and configure this thing right away. Oh, we already have the dock right out front here, don't we? And we don't have to put a landing on it, right? Okay, good. Alright, now we just have to connect this up with the road. Um, we're gonna do, yeah, we'll do a medium country road. Gonna get one right out here. Try and keep it nice and straight. Nice. And I just want to hook it into this. Yeah, I prefer that. So we could do that. And we could hook it up to this. There we go. Nice. Let me go ahead and upgrade all of this. I'm gonna go all the way to here because we're gonna grab some of this too. We may as well. I want to make sure that these ships are as full as we can possibly make them. So yeah, I'm gonna upgrade all of this. Uh, not that though. It's gonna destroy it. Can we upgrade to this? Or is that that's the same thing? Oh, hold on. If we upgrade to medium city street, yeah, it'll still destroy it. We can cut around this though, if we need to. Hmm. Where do we have to go with all these goods? Let's have a little look, see. They want them all mainly up here. So we should get another truck stop in. Let's get a truck unload. And they're going to be coming from here. We might want to have an alternate route skirting past this. Or maybe even going around here and we could follow the coast. So if we put it... we come in up around this way and drop it off here it looks like it gets everything all right nice we'll put that in right there might have to put a little waypoint or something down here and let's get this medium country road again we'll see if we could just come off of this keep it nice and straight There we go. We have this really weird four-way intersection. I kind of like it. Nice. All right, we have to do some smoothing here too, though. Look at this. It looks terrible. There we go. That looks a lot better. All right, and for this, we're going to need a cargo space for trucks to do all their things. How many are we going to need? We're going to need one for them to pick up. You know, we don't need that many. We'll just do the two platforms for right now. And that should be fine. I'm going to try and put it as close to this and see if we can get a line that goes right through. Ha! 
Alright, now can we configure this and put a little... A little street access? Too much slope? How dare you. Alright, we're also gonna need one of these guys. We'll just do one platform. Nothing major. And chuck it on this side. Get it nice and straight. Perfect. And now we just have to put some lines in. We're gonna make a line come down to here to drop off for this. Line to come drop off for that. And I'm pretty sure, yeah, goods are already being transported to these docks. So yeah, once we get all the lines set up, we just buy some vehicles and we're good to go. All right, I got all of the lines in place. You can see we got the goods line. They each have their own little platform. Goods, I didn't even have to put a waypoint. They did this. Uh, I kind of wish they went down a little bit further. Maybe I will put in a waypoint. It is kind of nice that they only just cross over and don't get in the way of this boss that much. So we'll just leave it. It's fine. And we have a truck route from here to bring the oil down. This will automatically connect to this. So that's good. And we have the route in place that uses our beautiful new canal nice looking pretty good um they do some things here that's questionable but everything's in place now we just have to upgrade this road here so i'm gonna grab the streets this is yeah medium country road it's my new favorite thing I'm gonna upgrade all of this yeah, right to the end there. We'll keep that as a dirt road, just because that's fun. And we'll upgrade all of this. Nice, that goes all the way down to here. And... Hmm. Why is it blue? I'm not sure. <laughs> Confused. I was wondering if I made it like electric or something, but I didn't. It's fine. Okay, good. So we... Actually, let's come up from this, right up here gonna grab this continue this road straight actually yeah it looks like it should just continue straight all the way down that looks proper I like it and this road I'm going to veto it it's no good I appreciate the effort that was not a good road let's try and do something else with this little area here let's grab no more country roads. This should actually be a medium street. Upgrade that whole thing to a medium street. That makes more sense. Good. And let's grab a small street and see if maybe we could just carve this up a little bit. We'll bring this out to here. Just to try and give them more room to build. Try and pack them in a bit more. There we go. That looks better. Got another little city block out of it. Nice. Alright, cool. So now we need one final line just to take that oil over to here. And it should be good. And we have a truck on load stop right there. Which... Should I just give them their own? So that they don't have to get in the way of that? That seems like a better idea, right? Why not? Let's do it. We'll put a truck on load. Oh, we could do it down here on the dirt road. Right? Let's put it all the way down here. Oh, on this side too. It'll just look cooler. They'll go on the dirt road, they'll turn around up here, and they'll drop off there. Sometimes you have to do things just because they look cool, right? It's fine. Don't worry. So we're going to do a new line. Um, do we have... no, we don't have a free terminal here, surprisingly. So, that gives us an excuse to make something big even bigger, which I think is fantastic. Who doesn't love gigantic things? Look at this. It's getting huge. Alright, so now we have a free platform. Good stuff. Things are getting a little trafficy here. How's, how's the flow? We got people coming out that way, coming in this way. Nobody's really getting in each other's way. I have a feeling we're about to ruin that a little bit. But I'm cool with it. So we're going to go here. Look. Nice. 
they picked the right platform. You guys are the best. And we're just going to go all the way out here, drop off there. How does it look? That seems good. That'll do. You can cut through that way. I kind of would prefer they go up this way. Maybe we should put in a little a little waypoint. I think we're going to this time. I'm going to put in a waypoint. I would just prefer them to use this. Keep it like, you know, far away from the city. We don't want any trouble with smog and shit like that, right? It's not the best. What line was it? Was it this? Good. All right, let's manage this. So after lower Midgard, I'm going to add that guy. Yeah. And then after this, I'm going to add the other waypoint on the other side. Yeah. Perfect. There we go. Now we'll avoid that street that goes through what will future be buildings. I can't English. It's fine. Ah. <sighs> All right, let me name these lines, and we should just have to buy some vehicles, and we're all good. All right, that should be all of our lines in place. We're going to have to sell some of these. I feel that's going to get blocked and not be able to get in there. Not the best. All right, so where do we want to buy trucks? We need trucks everywhere. Let's go buy some out here first. We need... Let's just go in here. Anawana Oil. Manage vehicles. There are none. Oh, you can't just click buy. Come on game. You're gonna make me look For a vehicle oh, right here. Bam. Nice. All right, so we need not the opal blitz. We're gonna get one of these Just the one to get things started and this one does all cargo. So we'll get one of these too So we have this one for the Anawana. It's cargo truck Anawana Fuel? No, it's oil CT oil Anawana, something like that. Yeah, there we go. CT oil Anawana. You go there. Good job. I forgot to paint it. That's real unfortunate. All right, and this one is cargo truck goods for Anawana. Bam. So we got those going. Nice. I'm going to go ahead and just hit play. Let things start up. So they'll start bringing oil down to here and everything. Good. Gonna need to buy a truck over here, an oil truck as well. Tanker truck, nice. While we remember, gonna paint it black, fantastic. And this one is the cargo truck, I believe it's oil. Yeah, Midgar's docks to the refinery, nice. Okay, good. And the goods are already going to be here. They already find their way there, so we just need a ship to ship it back and forth. Nice. And we could buy one right here. Which one do we want? The Minty Fresh? Look at this. This is one of our old school Ridgies. That's nice. All right. We need something fantastic. We're going to be doing multiple things. So it has to do all cargo. Oh, look at this, though. We can't do something like this. That would... Ah. Oh. I was kind of hoping we could just put a tow boat on it. We can't do it though. That's real upsetting. We might have to go with the Schaffhausen again. <laughs> we just can't get away from the ship. It's all we're ever going to use. Eventually I would like to use these guys, but maybe in like the 80s, right? We got a few years to go. We're just going to buy one of these to get things going. Paint it just a beautiful dark blue to really set the mood. I'm going to put it on the line straight away. What is it? Midgar to Anawana? Get going. I forgot. I need to rename you. Come back. There we go. It's the comeback kid making his debut appearance. Looking nice in that dark blue. That's real good. That also reminds me. Actually, I'm not going to give you this one. Roland asked very nicely in the comments if he can captain one of our fine vessels that we have here in our fleet. I don't know why I clicked this button. It's not going to take me where I want to go. Where is it? I want to manage my vehicles. Where? Oh, I, that is the right one. I'm an idiot. Ah, I just like to click buttons. It's fun for me. So I don't know what ship it's on. There we go. I found it. The Jenny. There you go, Roland. I'm giving you. You are now captained. There you go. Captain Roland. 
I give you the Jenny. It's my favorite one. It looks perfect in yellow. I don't know why. It's real nice. I hope you like it. You're full of iron. Nice. Alright, fantastic. So, we got that up and running. We're gonna have to give it a minute. Let things kick in. Obviously gonna have to get some more ships on this line, I would imagine. And... Wow. <laughs> things are getting real fast and furious outside of my apartment building. <laughs> uh, I can't wait. Alright, oil hopefully should start coming up as long as I made these lines correctly. Yeah, load up some oil, drop that off. Nice. Alright. And we got this guy already making the rounds. Fantastic. Are you going to bring over some stuff? Three. He's got three already. Look at him go. I wonder if this one's even going to produce. Yeah, it's going to produce too. Nice. I'm thinking we might have to shut down this guy. But if you take a look at this little line, it brings in a lot of money. We're going to see how this affects it. Because these guys already have oil stored. They don't really need it all too much. But we're going to give it to them anyway. <laughs> it's going to be fine. Uh, and hopefully Anawana can finally get some love. You know, while we're waiting for this to kick in, we should really do some beautification, right? Look at these palmettos. We never use a palmetto, do we? Let's get some palmettos going on down here. We can, oh, we can like almost just fit them in these little corners. That's cool. We might want to put a little building on this too. Just in case we get a bit of an overflow. Can we fit one right on the back? No! That would have been so nice. Oh, what a bummer. Alright, maybe no building for right now. Although, hmm. Yeah, I don't like the way it changes it. Change my mind, no building. I mean, this guy, I have this guy just sitting here waiting. He's going to be waiting here for a few years until we get anything. That's okay. It's fine. He gets paid by the hour. Ooh, maybe some bendy ones? Should we get a bendy one or two? I don't know. What is this? Those are just regular palms. A fan palm. I really do like these little bushes. They're little banana plants. They're nice. We should get a few of these. Alright, how we do? See, that looks so much nicer, doesn't it? It's just a couple of dumb bushes and some trees and look! Fantastic! Oh, hold on. Gotta fill these in too. Hold on, should we do, uh, some more trees? Instead of... We never use lemon trees. They look kind of big. Oh, maybe we should just put... Look, we'll put some... What's the biggest one we got? We got some peach trees. This might be the biggest, a Korean Stuart? What is it? Stewardia? That sounds magical. Let's get two of them. Got two of them to fill those big spaces in. Nice. Alright, and we're going to get some more palmettos for out here too. We're going to plug up these little corners. Some palmettos, some of my favorite little banana plants. Let's check a couple of these guys in here. Nice. I approve. Anawana, we're showing you some love. Wow, look at all this stuff waiting here. Oh, it looks cool too. It's just a whole bunch of barrels. I love it. I am going to put a little building on this one. Just in case, right? Just to get in the overflow. I mean, it doesn't really matter if we lose stuff here. But it'll look nicer too. There we go. Looking good. Come on, buddy. Alright, it looks like... Oh, wow. <laughs> Just hitting random buttons. What is this? No, I don't want to build that. Get out of here. Alright, it looks like our beautiful ship, which I repainted orange for some reason. The comeback kid can carry 130. How much is waiting? Only 41. That's fine. We're just getting things going. Though. Look how much money we have. My goodness. 
Now we're on our bikini bottom midgar line, and still not not really making us the money, losing us money consistently, and there is still just a ton, a ton of goods waiting here. Not a lot of machines. I think that's what's kind of ruining the profits for us, but. I do still think we need to make this a little bit bigger. So let's go ahead and get just a few more, maybe just two more boxcars. Go ahead, buddy. Start moving some stuff, please. Look how full this is. This is nothing but boxes, as far as the eye can see. Hopefully we could start making some money on these trains. If only we can ship something back to here. I'm hoping in the future there will be something that we'll need, but for right now, I really don't think there is anything. Yeah, look, you can see the machines in there, and look, it didn't even fill up that other one. Ah. Uh, yeah, look at that. Got 18 to 18 of that, but we could have fit more goods. Why didn't you put more goods on there? I think because of the percentages, the way I have it set up, that's unfortunate. Maybe if we get another one? Because look, if we take a look at the line, at Midgar, yeah, it's doing half and half. Maybe we should just do... Let's do 25. 75. Because we do, yeah, we have four on there. And it looks like we're only really going to fill one up. Yeah, we got 18 of 18 and bikini bottom. Yeah, there's yeah, there's six waiting. We'll see how it goes. We could always readjust it, but hopefully for now that'll be a bit more profitable. I think I just caught a problem. What are you doing? So this is Tools Midger. He just blocked up all these guys. Do I have you loading from what? Yeah, he's loading from multiple. Okay, we want to stop that. That's no good. Manage line. So at lower midger, yeah, no more multiple. You have to stick to six. Don't go to three anymore. Stop it. Thank you. All right. I don't want to have to sell anymore. I had to sell some of the trucks on this uh, machines line because they were backing up too far and they were holding people up. And uh, I have a feeling that's what's going to happen right here. Can you go through them? Alright, cool, you can make it through. You guys are fine then. Nice. Okay. So, uh, for Midgar Anawana, there's only 30 waiting. How are we doing all the way back at Anawana? We have only 31 waiting there. So yeah, we're going to have to wait a little bit before we need to really get some more ships on this. It's going to take a little bit. But in the meantime, let's see if we can sink some money somewhere else because we have tons of it. And I know there are some trains that need some help. So let's see if we can find one that needs to be shiny and new. Look at all of this stuff. Decent amount piling up. I'm gonna let it go. Ooh, wow. Okay. We're gonna do this train. Townsville, Shelbyville. There is a ton of bricks waiting there. And I have a feeling this train is old as all hell. <laughs> Let's take a look. I also want to manage the line. So at Townsville, just... Oh, sh shit. <laughs> I didn't mean to just get rid of that completely. Uh, okay, I'm going to have to take a minute to really figure out what was going on here. It looks like machines and building material was going through here. That sucks. I really wish I didn't do that. All right, I'm guessing that was it. It was just bricks and machines, and it's picking them up at Townsville and taking them to Shelbyville and dropping them off, and that's it. That's all that's going on here. Good. We fixed it. Thank goodness. And that was it. Yeah, there's nothing else going between them. Okay, that's fine. Finances, we were making money with it. That's good. We need to transfer far more bricks. All the bricks are gone now because I did that. That's real sad. Even if I unpause it, just all, all the bricks are gone. <laughs> For that momentary... 
<sighs> Come on, game. Why would you do that? It was paused too, and it's just gone. It's just all gone. Okay. It's real sad. So I guess we don't really have to upgrade this just yet. I mean, it's not going to be doing anything for a little bit. We may as well, right? What are you rocking? Is it the S? It is the S. All right, fine. We're gonna we're gonna redo this train anyway. Wow, it was all this and just one little box car. <laughs> All right, so what was the capacity? With just this, we had 72 capacity for building materials. Let's see if we could do better. Get out of here, Russian class S. Gonna get some steam. Our main thing right now is the Chinese JF-1. Oh wait, we did get some new ones though. Look at this thing. That looks crazy. It's real fast looking, 125 kilometers. Hmm. I think we're still just going to go and rock the Chinese railways. It'll be fine. And cargo, we're just going to do one boxcar for our machines. And then we got the flat car with side stakes. What was the capacity? We had like 72. Here, let's take that off first. So there's 72. Let's go with 90. And we'll get a boxcar on it. And I just kind of feel like the boxcar should be in the front. Am I wrong in thinking that? It just seems right, doesn't it? Alright, let's go ahead and upgrade that. Looking real nice. Look at this. He's having himself a drag race. Oh, he's winning too. Is he, he's pulling away a little bit. Oh, look at that. That's right, Russia. It's all about that Chinese power. How does that make you feel? Hmm? There's still a beautiful color back there. I love you. All right, good. Hopefully, this will improve this line slightly. I really love these, though. Look at this. I can't wait to start upgrading more of our trains. I want to see this thing fully loaded. Look at him trying so hard to keep up. Oh, man, you're a dirty mess. We have to do something with our passenger rail, too. We are pulling in a whole lot of money, though. Okay. <laughs> Things are happening. I just found another line that we should be able to upgrade and turn more of a profit. This line right here, O-Town Townsville, always making us money. And there's tons of people, it just left the station, it's fully loaded. And there's still tons of people, O-Town Townsville, almost 100 people waiting. And if we go over to Townsville, oh it's right here, 250. It's a... Uh, we could do with upgrading this train. We got 7 mil, we're losing money. Let's add to, oh no, I was gonna pause it while we had money, but it's all gone now. Let's take a look at it anyway, and dream about what we could have done. Let's see, passenger white, we got these new ones. All right, it looks like we were using bees, the Ergorov, Egorov, cool. Uh, what's the deal with this? It carries one more. <laughs> It has a higher top speed as well, 120. Now we were using, what is this, the S? The SCH. Ooh, okay. Can we even get that? Oh, this is an old school train. Oh, wow. Yeah, we got to do away with this. I'm thinking not even the S class. It's about to be 1960 in like five years. Maybe we go Chinese with passenger as well. We do have these, which look real streamlined and nice, but oh my god, the upkeep is a fortune. Not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen anytime soon. We do have the Russian SU, which has the nice top speed. Maybe we should be looking to that. Yeah, I'm thinking we do the SU. It's got good power, and it's got that top speed. All right, let's see how much this is gonna be. If we get rid of that, it only had a 40 capacity, which is real sad. Gonna get this bad boy. Already we got a little bit more capacity. Let's go with that. 63. We'll see how that does. And this is rated at 120, so we should be able to get some decent top speed. And we only need about just shy of 10 mil to actually buy it. And I have this up. It looks like goods are on their way on the comeback kid. Oh look, you can actually rotate. <laughs> I never noticed that. That's real cool. 
Nice. All right, well, he's on his way back to Anawana with some goods. They're finally going to get it. That's really nice. Oh, my God, finally. <laughs> we finally upgraded the train. Let's give it a nice, beautiful paint job. There we go. I've just been sitting here for ages watching the comeback kid slowly make his way with these goods. Oh, we finally got the train, though. Nice. How you looking? In all your glory. Ah, oh, I love that color. Can't get enough of it. I lost the train. Oh, there we go. We're back. Ah, uh, looking nice and cool. Come back, kid. Hurry up. Hey, you. Ah, oh, look at all these eager people waiting to ride this newfound, beautiful train. It's new cars. I love how you can see the people in the windows. That's so fantastic. You can carry 63. Should have no problem filling up. What I am curious about is that top speed. I want to see how it does. So when we laid these tracks, remember that 120? We tried to keep it up with the 120 speed. Let's see how it does. It's up to 15 right now. Make us proud. All right, we did break 80 kilometers an hour. We got this pretty sharp turn now that we had to slow down for. I'm just not sure if we have to do those high-speed tracks yet. I really don't think we have to, but, you know, I am curious. Come on, go fast. And you, come back, kid, for Christ's sake. Go faster. He's about to beach himself. Look at him. He's going right for it. Oh, no, he turned. All right, good. Almost 90. <laughs> we went to 88. We can go back in time. Or, no, that's 88 miles per hour. Oh, we're nowhere near that. Well, I mean, it is definitely going, it's almost at a hundred. That's fantastic. All right, good. That's really nice. So people should be able to go back and forth even faster, and we have a higher capacity. That should be making us some money. Oh, and look at this big guy. I think you might be next. You might be next on the list. You're looking pretty dirty. And that's our other new train. Not full yet. We really, really screwed that up by messing up these platforms. That really hurt us. Ah, that's sad. But, hopefully, Anawana should start getting some goods any minute now. And look at this. If we had the money, I would get another ship right away. I want to see about sneaking one in and getting another one on that line. We have to buy them all the way down here. Oh, I think we could afford one quick. No, we can't. You need 1.4. Oh, we're sticked out. There we go. We did it. <laughs> all right, nice. Um, Color-wise, I want to do all of these orange for some reason. It's just how I'm feeling at the moment. They all... The line is still that, though. Uh, it's this one. Yeah, Midgar Anawana. And I forgot to name it. Oops. There we go. I decided to name her Budnick. Because why not? It's going to Camp Anawana. Named Budnick. That's perfect. Fantastic. Alright, so we got a lot of work done. We got Anawana finally on our radar. We're gonna start giving them some goods, which is the next highest thing in the things that they want. So hopefully with that, they will start to grow. And hopefully that'll generate some more profits because we do have the passenger rail that goes from Anawana to Townsville, that's always losing us money. I'm thinking with that train that we just upgraded that goes from O-Town to Townsville, I'm hoping more of those people will want to go on to Anawana, and that will in turn make that a profitable line. So, we showed Anawana a whole bunch of love today, and we still have just a ton of money just rolling in. We got a lot of money. It's fantastic. So, in the next episode, we're just going to continue this streak of just really pumping in some dough, getting some new trains, new equipment, making sure that these weird mistakes that we had with these lines, like buying dump trucks when we can't transport the things that we need with the dump trucks, hopefully we caught all of those mistakes, and it should be smooth sailing from here on out. So... I'm going to go ahead and end it there. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. 
If you did enjoy watching, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel for more amazing videos, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!